Hey everyone, I'm Joel on the road and today my UNESCO World Heritage Journey is at the historic centre of Florence in northern Italy. So this is the historic center of Florence, hotbed of the Renaissance, and for 400 years it was the economic and cultural capital of Europe. Under the domination of the Medici family, artists from across Italy and Europe came here to ply their trade and get commissions. People like Leonardo, Michelangelo, Botticelli, Brunischelli, the famous names just keep on going. It's incredible to see. And the city itself is still much as it was during the Renaissance. Let's have a look around. So this is the cathedral here in Florence, the Santa Maria de Fiore. And it's one of the largest churches in all of Italy. Now it was built between the 14th and the 16th centuries when Florence was at its artistic and cultural height and it's built of this incredible white, green and pink marble. Though of course the facade that you can see on the front is actually a bit newer, that dates from the 18th century. Now there's also an incredible dome at the back. It's still to this day the world's largest dome built of brick and mortar and it was an unbelievable achievement of engineering back in its day. It was built by the Renaissance architect Bronaschelli. So this is the baptistry here in Florence and it's directly opposite the cathedral. It's actually one of the oldest buildings in the city and it dates from the 12th century, though the exterior has been redone in the marble of green, white and pink to match the cathedral opposite. Now the bronze doors behind me are extremely famous. These were done by a Renaissance sculptor named Ghirlandi and it was dubbed by Michelangelo as the Gates of Paradise. But the ones you can see are actually replicas. The originals are in the museum just over on the other side of the square. This is the Palazzo Vecchio, or the Old Palace, and it was built in the 13th century to be the seat of the new ruling family. Now it was built in like a fortress style so that they could be safe from enemies, both external and internal. And it also has secret passages escaping out of the palace across the river and away from Florence if they really, really needed to get out. Now it was built on the site of an older building and the tower that you can see is actually part of that older building. They just incorporated it into the new one, which explains why it doesn't really match that well. Also fascinating is that in 1865, when Florence became the capital of the new Kingdom of Italy, this is where the provisional government met, though only for a few years before the capital moved to Rome. Since then, it's been the seat of the government of Florence. One of the most famous works of art in the entire world is Michelangelo's David. And here it is, standing just out the front of the Palazzo Vecchio. But this is actually a replica. It's where David was originally intended to stand. But once it was realized that Michelangelo had created an amazing masterpiece, they moved it to the Academia Gallery, just on the other side of the city. So they came up with this replica instead. It's a full-size one, it's five meters tall. It's really, really imposing, and it's very, very beautiful as well. Though obviously, that kind of goes without saying. So this is the interior of the Uffizi Gallery here in Florence and there's just so much incredible stuff to see. It's mostly based on the old private collection of the Medici family and it's now available for the public. There's some incredible masters here like Botticelli, Michelangelo, Leonardo and many, many others. Let's have a look around. So this is the Ponte Vecchio and it's the oldest bridge in the city. It dates from the 14th century and it's the only one that managed to survive World War II. All of the other bridges were sadly blown up. 
Now, it actually is lined with shops, which is quite unusual these days, but it was very common back in the medieval and renaissance eras. It was originally butchers' shops. These days, it's jewelers and goldsmiths. Well, this is Florence. It's a beautiful city, one that I've been super impressed by. And there's just so much art and culture and uh, everything to take in. It's amazing. It's almost overwhelming, I think. There's so many museums and galleries. It's just, yeah, you have to come here again and again and again, I think, to really appreciate what it has to offer. But unfortunately, we have to leave it there. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm Joel on the road and I'll see you at the next World Heritage Site.